हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इडियट्स डायरी माय नेम इज महेश शितलानी एंड आई वेलकम्स यू इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज विद लाइव एग्जांपल्स सो टुडेज एग्जांपल इज डिस्प्ले करंट टाइम इन जावा दिस इज वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच कैन बी यूज सेवरल वेज इन जावा सो लेट्स क्रिएट एन एग्जांपल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डिस्प्ले करंट टाइम इन जावा फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस प्रोग्राम वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ क्लास डिस्प्ले करंट टाइम The first objective for creating this program is to obtain current time. So, let's see how to obtain current time. In Java, there is a class system and within the system class there is a function current time milli. This function returns current time stamp in milliseconds in the form of a long integer. So, we store this time stamp in a variable total milliseconds. This variable should be of type long integer. because current time milis returns time stamp in the form of a long integer now if you want to know what is the current time stamp then you can print this variable total milliseconds let's compile and run this program to check what is the current time stamp to compile this program we switch to the command window and reach on the location where we have saved this program now we compile this program by using java c display current time dot java and run this program by using display current time you can see there is a long integer number which represent the current time stamp if you again run this program then you can see there is a time stamp updated if you again run this program then you can see again time stamp is updated so this is continuously updated because time stamp is the total number of seconds calculated from first gen 1970s midnight and this number represent current time in milliseconds so this is continuously increasing now the challenge is that we need to change this number in the human readable time stamp that is hh mmss now to convert this time stamp into a human readable format hours minutes and seconds the first step is to obtain time in seconds to obtain current time in seconds because 1 second is a 1000 milliseconds so we write here current total seconds equal to total milliseconds divided by 1000 in this way we achieve this time into total seconds format and remove this line system dot out dot println now we achieve current seconds from total seconds to achieve current seconds we create a variable current seconds now the question is how to achieve current seconds so the seconds that cannot be converted into a minute that is the current seconds that can be achieved by using total seconds modulus by 60 which returns the number of seconds that cannot be converted into a minute because total seconds is of type long so we need to convert this expression into integer to achieve the output in integer format in this way we can achieve current seconds after calculating the current seconds we need to calculate total time in minute total time in minutes that can be calculated by using total minutes equals to total seconds divided by 60 because one minute has a 60 seconds now we need to calculate the current minutes from total minutes to calculate the current minutes we use the similar expression as current seconds so current minutes can be calculated as total minutes modulus by 60 and because this expression returns a long integer so we need to convert it into integer now you can understand this expression as the minutes that cannot be converted into hours are called current minutes finally we need to calculate total hours that can be calculated as total hours equals to total minutes divided by 60 because one hour has a 60 minutes in this way we can achieve total hours but because one day has a 24 hours what is the current hours so the pair that cannot be converted into a 24 hours will be the remaining hours and treated as a current hours so to achieve current hours equals to total hours modulus by 24 in this way we can achieve current hours because this expression returns a long integer so we type cast this expression into integer and in this way we can calculate current hours 
now finally we have calculated current hours current minutes and current seconds so print the current time in human readable format by using system.out.println a message is current time is and now we want to print hh colon mm colon ss so first we write the format and now replace hh with actual value by using double quotes then plus plus and write the variable current hours in the similar manner to replace mm with actual value current minutes and finally replace with seconds with current seconds and this time represent and this time is represented in gmt so we write in gmt let's compile and run this program to check the human readable time so you can see the current time in gmt format gets printed to achieve the time of your local zone you can add the difference from gmt in your total number of seconds and get the exact time of your local zone thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe if you have any queries then you can comment on this video you can also follow us on facebook and instagram our facebook and instagram pages links are given in the description below